Hello. Nice to see you here. Me? Oh, just hanging out, having fun. Ooh, these are tight. Oh, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Here I have my 2023 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. Now I've just purchased a TRD OEM knockoff skid plate off Amazon. We're gonna be testing it out, installing it, and seeing the pros and cons of going the knockoff route versus the OEM route. Now this skid plate cost me $165, really cheap for what it is. Now the OEM ones cost anywhere from $400 to $600, I've seen. So this is substantially difference in price. What does that mean in terms of quality? Well, let's find out. All right, here it is. Um, it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be, but it's still safe aluminum, so let's check it out. Boom, there it is. You see, it looks exactly like the OEM one. It's got the access to it, it's got the venting, um, it's got everything. The finish on the side that you look at is nice, on the other side it's not as nice. And the back of this door is beat to crap, but what are you gonna do, right? Um, you don't look at that side anyway. It's under the truck, but I couldn't be happier with the finish, but now let's see how the fit is, okay? So they included a lot of hardware and spacers. It's coming out of it, but they're losing it. Ooh. Um, in here, so we'll see how well these do. Um, I heard, you know, people replacing them with their own, um, but I'd like it if I just use these. look nice, so let's, let's try it. Um, first and foremost, we find the uh, instructions are probably blue somewhere. So it didn't come with the TRD stamps, letters in it, obviously, because they can't sell that if it's not a OEM product, a TRD trademark, you know? So I did find on Etsy, TRD letters in my truck's theme color. So I'm gonna try to apply these like that. Hold on. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Apply these there. I'll use some reference photos and try to get those exact with some masking tape. Uh, this is really high quality vinyl. Uh, I've already cleaned the alcohol on the surface, so we're good to go. Just need to focus on placement right now. Be right back. So I got the first two letters down. We're doing the wet method with these stickers. I've kind of measured where things go and I'm using this to keep everything straight and even. You'll notice that there are some imperfections in the skid plate itself. And so, because this is not an air bubble, it's literally just an imperfection, unfortunately placed right underneath the sticker. So nothing I can really do about that, but then again, I don't think anyone could notice it on the bottom of a truck. <laughs> so we're gonna keep moving on with the D. No pun intended. And just like that, we have all three letters on the board. Check that out. I think it looks pretty good. It all makes sense when you see the rest of my truck. <laughs> all right, moving on. Okay, so now I've put the long bolts and the middle and the shorter ones in the front. At the back, they're just these standard automotive bolts that are going in these right here and right here. So nothing too complicated. Now I think we're ready to actually take off the old skid plate and put on this new one. All right, let's pull into the garage and get started. Let's get the new skid plate into position. I have it positioned on a moving blanket, just so it doesn't scratch itself up before I even put it on the truck. And now let's remove the original skid plates. There are two on the TRD off-road. Yours might have one. The off-road has two, front and towards the back. There are four bolts on each skid plate and they're pretty quick and easy to get off. Just find the right socket and Pop those guys Today we're off. having Mango IPA from Barrel House Brewing Co. That's fantastic. If you can get it, get it. So I just wanted to show you a little before and after. Here's the new one, all bright and shiny. 
but there's the old skid blade. Now let's compare the thickness on these right there. Pretty thick. And with the original stuff, whoo, that's like paper thin. These things were so light. Um, yeah, and super dirty. <laughs> Just like the rest of the truck. But now I'm gonna try to slide this thing underneath and see how, see how it fits. Wish me luck. So the new TRD Pro skid plate doesn't use the same holes to line up these new bigger bolts. So that makes a lot of sense. These bolts are way bigger than the ones before. You will have to remove four bolts from the truck. I will show you another clip which ones those are, but it's pretty straightforward if you just line it up. Um, and then the back bolts actually do use the existing holes. So look for those um, and they should line up. Take well, a we'll see break. how well it lines up. <laughs> so the <clears throat> smallest bolts in the far back did not line up when I did the first two bolts. I thought I'd do fart to front to back, kind of keep things loose so I can move things around. They didn't line up at all. They were off by a half inch. So I thought, well, maybe I have more maneuver maneuverability in the front bolts, so, because they're longer. So let me go back to front actually. So when you guys do this, start with the back ones. I know it's gonna be harder, but um, that's gonna ensure that they line up a lot better. So let me go into the truck and kind of show you what I mean. So you're replacing the big bolts under here and replacing these. Instead of reusing the existing skid plate holes, which is right about there, one over to the, f to the right or left on the other side. Now, look how far off that is. But I'm hoping, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is pretty far off. Wow. I'll have to see how I can adjust that. I got the front one, but not this one. So maybe if I loosen that a bit, I can get it in there. Okay, we'll stay tuned. So I had some trouble with the front again. This guy right here and this one uh, would not line up, would not bite no matter how much I put it in there until I brought out the Ooga Dooga and brought it, and hammered it home. Um, I think the angles of however they produce this one are just not quite as on point as the OEM one, so I kind of had to force it in there, which is to be expected, I guess. Um, just doing these by hand so I don't ruin anything. Um, but uh, she's up there, looking good. Well, there you have it. Here are my final thoughts on the TRD Pro skid plate knockoff. I think that the install was started off good. Then I realized the bolts didn't line up at all. So I started front to back, front to middle to back, and front middle perfectly, but the back ones were off by a solid half inch. And that is tricky. How did I install it? Well, basically I went, started from the back smallest bolts, moved my way forward, and I basically had to get my entire body underneath and bend it up into place. Uh, it took a lot of a lot of well, willpower to get through that part uh, and eventually I got some threads to bite and was able to jam it up in there. So thankfully it all worked out. I was a little bit hopeless for a second there. Um, but not to worry, it, it is on there. It's never coming off. <laughs> um, and uh, I couldn't be happier honestly with the price tag. So do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. You're gonna have some struggles. I wouldn't say everybody should install it because unless you have a little bit of mechanical knowledge um, it might be a little bit tricky I've heard some people's just didn't line up at all I've heard some people's lined up flawlessly so mine was somewhere in the middle and I luckily got it to work so thankful for that thanks for watching stay tuned subscribe for more we we'll are doing more content on Tacoma's overlanding the build of my truck as it as it is I'm thinking of going with lift kit next and so stay tuned for that I'm also planning a big trip, as I mentioned in my other videos, um, Arizona and Utah, a little bit of California, um, about a week or two off grid, Rover landing. <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.